ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your farming simulator 15 mod spotlight. Where today I've had to make a very, very quick change of plans. I was gonna do a bunch of stuff from FSUK, the map spotlight tomorrow was also gonna be from FSUK, but FSUK has some download problems today. Um, the download problems meaning I can't download a damn thing from FSUK today. So, I went over to Mod Hoster. Uh, there were two mods from LS 2015 that I downloaded as well uh, for the previous attempt uh, where I realized FSUK had um, download problems. Uh, so I went over to Mod Hoster real quick and I picked up a few mods. So it's a bit of a mixed bag again because this is kind of uh, somewhat unplanned. Uh, and let's have a look at what, what I've got. So in tractors, hopefully, there should be... Yes. Uh, case Puma IH 240 CVX. And I'm only going to get. Uh, I'm going to get both of them. So they are 205,200 to buy, 105 a day to own, and produce 270 horsepower. There's also twin wheels for the CVX 240. Uh, 3,000 to buy, 5 a day to own, and they're wheels. Uh, I'm not going to buy the thirds. Yeah, I'll have a look at the red one as well, just to see what the, the color differences are. Also, there is a McCormick D430 Stila. <laughs> okay. Uh, 2200 to buy, 48 to own, and it's only a teeny tiny 30 horsepower tractor. Let's just buy that. And hopefully it's in tractors, yes. Finally, there's the Renault 951. 7300 to buy. 95 a day to own and 100 horsepower so let's buy that and I think in front loaders there's only going to get one of these Stoll FC front loader for the case CVX 5400 to buy 20 a day to own and let's get the red one because it's a case in harvesters there is a JF FCT 1060 ProTech convert from FS 2013, so I'm slightly worried, but it is a trailed forage harvester. 45,200 to buy, 50 a day to own, let's get it. Um, I am genuinely worried about that, so if it doesn't work, I'm not going to be too upset. <laughs> or surprised, for that matter. In headers, we got the Lands Schneiderock. 5,000 to buy, 0 to own, bit of a problem, and there is an. Um, XML error. Let's see what's gone wrong with everything. The... oh dear. Renault has errors. Whatever I got before. The, that's the McCormick probably. The Oh, the Renault has a lot of errors. Oh, that's the MTZs. Never mind. Uh, the Renault has a beacon light failure. Oh. And three sound errors. The JF doesn't have Cutting areas, so that's going to be f fun. And the lance works properly. Uh, in tippers, maybe. Apparently, there was a trailer for the gator. Um, okay, I do have the Marshall pack. That's for a mod that doesn't work. Uh, in bailing technology, I hope. <laughs> really hope, yes. We have the Sipma Z224 small baler. And 200 litre bales, I can deal with that. 5,500 to buy, one a day to own, which is a bit of an issue. Um, a 200 litre baler, that's fine. Um, I can deal with that. Is there anything else? I'm just double checking now because I think I've got everything. And, yep, that's all of the mods and it's a mess so let's start off with the uh, let's start off with the mods that I know will work the case 240 CVX mods these are generally well made and I know yes you can open the door with R that is a nice detail and you can open the door on this one with R if I hit R and you can open the door on this one with R as well. 
they're all pretty much they're all the same model. I like having three different options. You've got your normal red case 240 CVX. You have your red and black case 240 CVX. Is that premium as well? Or? Yes, 240 CVX premium. This one is just your standard. And over here, you've got your case 240 CVX Black Beauty. Now, just because I like the red cases, I'm going to look at this one. It has IC, so you can close the door. You can also open the top window, bring down your roller blind. Uh, Oh, that's love. That's beautiful. You can open up a GPS module in the uh, on the screen. What's the menu? That does nothing. Uh, you can put on, if you so wish, your row crop tires. Uh, you can open up your. I don't know what that does. <laughs> oh, that... Okay. So you can open the... That's for the front three-point. So this must be... Oh, that's for the fenders! I've just realized. I'm stupid. You can move the, uh, the steering wheel. And you can turn on or off the front loader console. Oh god, there's more. You can throw on signals. You can... Oh, you can move the rear um, bay, uh, trailer attacher. And you can open up your rear window. You can shut off the sunroof if you so wish. Or, if you're more inclined, you can open it. So you can have the tractor fully kitted out like this. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Not the loudest tractor in the world, it's got nice... I'm just gonna double check, ah uh, yeah the volume is a bit low. There we go. Not the loudest in the world. There's a nice bassy hum to it. And it works. As do the beacons. Um, not gonna look for clipping errors. This one won't have them. It's a very well-made mod. Uh, I know Caravera seventy six uses it a lot, so I'm not even gonna bother looking for clipping errors with that. These two, however, let's have a look. Let's have a look my easy way. The McCormick Farmall D four thirty does not have. Any major clipping errors, you can kind of clip into the side here. The Renault looks like it's a hot mess. You can clip straight into the front weight, and not really into the front of the tractor. You can do, do, do. What happens if you go around the rear here? Ah, that's fine. Yeah, I can deal with the Renault's clipping. Um, both of these could do with texture work. The better textures. This is kind of fine for the, the age of tractor it is, I guess. I'd like to see it be a bit more rusty and aged. The engine, I'm pretty sure, isn't just, you know, red with matte black. There's no sheen to these whatsoever. Um, the Renault is just monolithically orange, which is a bit of a shame. I'm also not going to test out this front loader to see if it'll attach to the case. I know it will, I just bought it so you can have a look at it. So it's nice and red and front loadery. Uh, those twin wheels will attach to the case. Let's have a look at the McCormick now. And the farmer is in a pretty weird position, but I can deal with that. The exhaust is coming out the... Ah, oh, no, it's coming out the exhaust. Keypad 7 is uber... Overall, Google and uh, Abbound. That's an overall bar. The deck is. Oh! You can throw on. Let's get it all up. Okay. So if you throw on the uh, roll bar and the roof, for lack of a better word, 
um, the Royal Bar tips through the roof. But the roof is nice. The twin wheels are, are nice, I guess. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like when it's on the roof. You know what? I can deal with that. Does it have a horn? Yes, it does. I can deal with it being clattery and clunky. You can guess when I'm going to test the lands later on. I can. I can't without it looking dumb as hell. Alright. Let's have a look at the Renault. The Atan Farmer 50, I'm guessing that's the mod author. Okay, so the um, the beacon does work. I'm not sure what the problem was. Linkers, which I never tested on the power. They are in the wrong place. Lights are all in the wrong places. Oh, God. Alt and keypad 7. That's the left door, apparently. And alt and keypad 9 is the right door. No? Oh, they meant numpad. I'm pretty sure one of those doors didn't have an animation when I tried that. So 7 is the top window. Okay, so the door is open as there's a window. The exhaust is coming out of the wrong place entirely. Uh, how does this drive? The steering, I feel, is very slow and clunky in a way. But it does drive acceptably well, except for this random bit of mesh sticking at the side. I'm not quite sure what that is, and I'm sure that it was an error somewhere. So, oh, the farmer's hands are also going to So let's try the Renault with the... There is no way for that to look good, is there? So one thing I noticed about McCormick, and I'm going to actually use the McCormick to try that out, because it probably looks better. One thing I noticed about McCormick is if you attach something to the rear, which is what I'm going to do right now, if you attach something to the rear, it does not show up as being an implement, which is a bit of a problem. So let's see what this thing can do. Um, control pipe out, which will bring it over to the other side entirely, I believe. You can disable straw swap, but I'm not going to do because pretty much half the fun of this thing is watching the straw swap. Can this harvest corn? It can't, but it probably should. So, the reason I'm driving over to field 27 is because I've already got some wheat. Think planted over here. It is wheat, hurrah. Um, and just for the sake of being somewhat realistic at least. So I can see what I'm doing. Uh, for the sake of being somewhat realistic, I'm gonna drive along the side here and as you can see, it harvests quite it actually looks about right with this McCormick, I'm going to admit. Um, yes, it's a bit low, but I can deal with it. As you can see, the straw is actually going along the conveyors. And is being thrown out the side, which, in an older machine like this, is correct. Um, this is the first trailed harvester I've seen for FS15 and it works. I'm kinda surprised by that to be honest. I already know it doesn't just throw out straw constantly so... You know what? I can deal with it looking a bit bad because it works perfectly. It works exactly how it should work. It's possibly a bit wide for the age machine it is. Because um, it is, you know, a few meters wide, which doesn't seem all that realistic to me. But you know what? If you're going to throw something on the back of the tractor, I don't mind it being wide. Because it's being powered by the tractor. Um, that 
conveyor belt looks a bit wonky. But oh no, that's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. Um, I'm going to get a Brantner for the sake of getting a Brantner and a. a Hurdyman. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. I could have used the Renault. Oh well, I'll use the Renault for the um, the Sigma Baylor because I'm going to be testing that next. Uh, I'm going to need to get some sort of. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not organized at all today. I apologize. Um, like I said, I was intending on testing a completely different set of mods, and it all fell to hell. Um, Normally I'd say just as I was going to start doing the mod spotlight, but I actually had started already. So, I, I don't know how to describe that. Uh, if I can get them downloaded, you'll get a bonus mod spotlight. Um, sometime during the week. If not, you won't. Uh, similar to... Same with the map that I was going to do. If I can get it downloaded, you'll get a bonus map spotlight. Or I might just shove that to next week. Um, I did mention in a video during the week what, well, in the comments of a video during the week what map I'll be looking at. I was intending on looking at. Uh, the unload animation for the harvester isn't bad. Somebody's just sent me something on Skype. I'm going to kill them. Uh, so let's get to the red Yes, it's an absolute disaster of noise. Alright, so the Renault, we are going to hook you up to the Sitna Vader, because we are roughly the same place. Stop talking to me and spade people! One moment, please. I'm just going to set myself as busy. I can guess who it was. Yes. Oh, dang it. Be careful, Nate, noise. There we go. I'm back in the Renault. This will probably look better on the back of the car. Um, one thing I noticed immediately is that the Renault doesn't actually have a hitch where it says it does, or where it thinks it does. So, um, I'm driving around with a hover baler. Another thing I noticed is that the description for things are in Polish. Pokaj Lijnik Bell. It's a bell count, okay. Do I have to get out to unfold this thing or Okay, so that's unfold. M does something. M definitely does something. Oh, C does something here. That and puts it into field mode. Okay. And V lowers the front. So M does something back here. N opens up that. M does apparently nothing. Oh no, M puts out the that. M puts out a hitch. That's nice. Uh, is there anything else that can be done up here? X opens up the... Yeah, I'll have that open. You know, let's just have this all open up. And... Crazy. Uh, you'd never bail like this, I don't think, but... This will give us an idea what the animations are like on the baler, because... I would like a small square baler, and 200 litres is a reasonable size for a small square baler. Animation work. The animations do in fact work quite nicely. And I can deal with the somewhat wonky um, somewhat wonky the, the, the part of effects. If I'm getting 250 litre bales, they're not actually too good. But does it say? Does it claim 200 or 250? That's the most. That's the question I have now. 200. It claims 200. It's actually got a capacity 250 liters per bale. But if I'm being completely honest, 
the size of the bales, I could deal with 250 litres for this size of the bale. I'm perfectly happy with this. Um, oh, that's... That's just an added bonus right there that it does spool down. Um, it may not be the best looking baler in the world. It, you know, it could do with some additional texture work just to clean it up a bit. Um, but the textures are all quite high quality. I mean, I can read that that's basilin. Baling twine and Jubilat Titan 500, and that it's 2,000 meters long. And that's the knotter right here. You know, I can deal with these. This having some minor issues. This is going to go into my mods folder, my main one. So. Get smart about this. Uh, I'm just gonna get a random tipper. I'm gonna go for the agro liner because that usually works with most pieces of equipment. And I'm gonna use the 240 CDX to pick up the FCT 1060 Pro Tech. And conveniently, there's actually some grass right there. All right, so oh. Move to trans. Move to field. Out of position thing. So it looks like this thing hasn't quite been updated to FS15 yet, and I know that NI modding won't be too happy to see this existing. However, NI modding still haven't put out a mod for FS15, so I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to use this for a while at least if it works. Which it does with 2013 style graphics, admittedly, and some particle system failures, but it does work. It does harvest up your shaft, and while the particle system is working, um, nor is actually. Ah, dynamic fill plane also isn't working with this for some reason. While the particle system and dynamic fill plane aren't working, it is working as, as a whole. Now I'm just going to check something because you could do this in 2013 with with um, the JF. I'm going to see if you can chaff straw. Um, I know that the in-game forage harvesters do allow you to do this, and you can. That is interesting. So you can make straw silage if you so wish. Um, I would like to see the particle system working out a bit, well, a lot more reliably than it is. And here we go, so I decided to go and strike again. I'm guessing it has to be at some weird specific angle for it to work. I'd like to see the particle system work more reliably. I'd like to see... This is stuff that I want NI modding to do at this point. Reliable particle system, JF stall. SET 1060 Protec, maybe they're the uh, 12, whatever it was, for the uh, old timer tractors as well. Um, similar texture, because this always did have good textures and high quality. Uh, just updated a bit. Ability to do pretty much everything you could do with it in 2013. Reliable. Um, output thing. Yeah, that. And of course working with dynamic fill plane. Other than that, this is a really good mod and I'm gonna keep it for a while. Oh. Also PTO and stuff working properly. Um, <laughs> but this was intended for manual PTO attacher in 2013, so I can do with that. Um, yeah, I'd love to see an modding come back soon because I think Farm Sim needs them to come back and reappear and come out with some old timer mods because there are none that work properly. <laughs> um, well, I say that. The Lance works properly. The McCormick works properly. They're just not brilliant mods. 
the Renault is just... It's not pretty. It works, it's not pretty. It, I can kind of deal with that. So, I'm going to go into the shop, well, the, the garage here, and just go through these um, in the simplest way I can. So, today we had a look at the... As I scroll through slowly so that I don't miss them. JFT, FT, JF FCT 1060 ProTech from NI Modding, whoever converted into FS15. I'm only going to get a, give NI Modding credit because they made the original mod. It works. I'm going to put it into my mod folder because I actually have been looking for a trail for a harvester for quite a while. We also looked at the Lance Schneidwerk. Um, it could do the bit of work. Textures could do the lot of work. It's functional. I mean, if you want a trailed harvester, um, get it. It works. It's functional. It's. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to throw it into my mod folder because I don't have anything that can go with it right now. In the case Puma IH240 CVX pack. This is going straight into my normal mod folder. I'm just not even going to say anything else. This is beautiful. It's what mods should be. The McCormick D430, it works, it's functional, if you want a really old style tractor with low horsepower, get the McCormick, it is functional. The Renault 951 is functional. And the Sipma Z224 square baler, for small bales, and something that I haven't seen too much, uh, the one small baler I have seen had a capacity of three and a half thousand liters no sorry three and a quarter thousand liters which was just ridiculously stupid they'd made bales about the same size as the sipma but it was pretty much the same quantity of straw or hay so they were incredibly dense bales this creates small square bales that are small capacity this is going into my mod folder might not be the prettiest mod in the world, but it's going in. Um, I know I didn't test three points on the Renault or the um, McCormick. That's kind of up to you to test, I guess, because I've run way over time. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time for your Farm Simulator 15 mod spotlight. Tomorrow you'll have a map spotlight, and during the week you'll have your normal Let's Plays. Um, possibly a bonus mod and or map spotlight if FSUK wants to work. I'll see you next time and until then stay safe and goodbye.